follow video games, anime or manga, then you may have heard of Dot Hack. It seems to be a series without a fixed platform, more a mixture of story idea and some marketing than anything solid. However, it's hard not to be tempted by the allure of Dot Hack, as the premises is original and interesting. Dot Hack is set in the near future and involves players of a fictional online game which is played wearing virtual reality headsets. Actually, now I think about it, that doesn't sound much like the near future and sounds more like some sort of weird alternate dimension where the Nintendo Virtual Boy actually took off. How the game is played doesn't actually affect the plot though, so it seems somewhat silly to nitpick. The plot of the original Dot Hack involved the game sending some of its players into comas, plus other mysterious occurrences that seemed out of the owner's control. The remaining players searched around trying to find out what was going on, whilst the moderators of the game tried to cover the events up. However, Legend of the Twilight is not actually part of the main arc, and is instead its own story that happens after the original events. It's also only three volumes long. I can't tell if it was intended to be this short, or if it was cut short after a poor reception. It basically winds up as a whistle-stop tour of the Dot .hack universe, with most of the major plot elements from the main arc mentioned or covered once and only once. Then it ends. It does wrap up its plot before ending, leaving no holes or dangling threads, but the length certainly hurts it a little, as, it's sto as the story seems quite rushed. Interestingly, the two main leads appear identical to those of the original arc, but are in fact different people. This is cleverly justified in the plot. They are being played by different people in real life. But the fact that all of the cast in Legend of the Twilight are new to us, combined with the short length of the book means that the characters do not have much time to develop out of the genre cliches that they start out in. I felt that generally this manga shared the same Catch-22 flaw that the video games and the anime had. It's okay and a nice read, but it's not good enough to stand alone and it's only worth checking out if you're already a fan of Dot .hack. But how do people become fans of Dot .hack? if there's really no good title that pulls them in in the first place. As such, while Dot Hack is actually half decent, there's a the weird property that I couldn't recommend it to anyone. Having said that, the original arc is actually being rewritten from a video game into a manga, and it's a lot longer than the three volumes. That might be worth keeping an eye out for.